After spending the last week exploring the west coast of Morocco, I got a bit tired of the wind, so I decided to drive to some warmer places. So I just left Essaouira this morning. Uh, the wind was really annoying me, so I decided to come towards east. I might actually go to Marrakech for a few days because it's been a while since I've been in the city. Um, and there's so much good food there. Um, but I think I'm gonna stop on my way there because there's a, a really cool place that I've been wanting to visit for a while. So I think I'm gonna go there first and then we go to Marrakech. Um, at least that's the plan. Damn, what a view. This is a little desert area just south of Marrakech. Um, it's basically the foothills of the Atlas Mountains that you see back there. I was thinking it would be amazing to camp right there, uh, but I'm pretty sure I would be kicked out uh, because Morocco is actually quite difficult to wild camp with a van. Uh, I've been kicked out of places like three or four times already. Um, the police is always very kind. Um, and they always say it's for my safety. Um, but yeah, I'm pretty sure I would be kicked out. So I need to find another spot for the night. But yeah, amazing view. Okay, oh my God, bumpy road. Uh, so I just asked someone if there was any place I could park for the night. Uh, and they told me to come to this village and, uh, oh, there's a camel. <laughs> um, they told me to park right next to the mosque. Um, let's see if they let me do that or if I'm going to be kicked out. <laughs> there's the mosque. This is it. C'est possible uh, dormir? Uh, see? See, bon? Okay. Okay. Merci. Okay, I think we're good. <laughs> Unfortunately, it wasn't that easy, and I was kicked out before I could even park the van. Luckily, this guy showed up and took me to his own property. What's your camera? It's uh, YouTube. Yes. YouTube? Yeah. That's YouTube? Yeah. Yes. <laughs> okay, so basically I was going to park right next to the mosque and immediately an old guy came. He was probably like the village chief or something. He was kind of pissed off and he told me to leave. Um, so then I left and right after that this guy saw me and told me to follow him and he basically just took me to his own property and let me park here for the night, which was so kind of him. Uh, so yeah, now I'm going to spend the night here, which is going to be so nice. There are a bunch of campsites here and there. So tomorrow, the sunrise is going to be nice. Salam. Oh, <laughs> merci beaucoup. <clears throat> Okay, merci, merci. Oh my god. It just brought me harita soup. Oh my god, they're so kind. This is why I miss traveling. It's moments like this. People are just so kind. I'm so happy right now. Hmm. <laughs> This soup is so tasty. Okay, I'm going to sleep now because tomorrow I want to go see the sunrise. I'm pretty sure it's gonna be amazing. So, good night.
Wow, the sunrise was so beautiful. This landscape is unreal. It's so peaceful and so quiet. I was expecting some tourists this morning, but there's no one around. It was definitely the right move to come inland because that wind on the coast was not doing it for me. This is so much better. The van is over there. I slept so well. <sighs> Feeling so thankful for moments like this. Oh, I gotta go return this to them. I'm also going to give them a small tip just because they were so kind yesterday. This is their house, I think. Salam. Oh. And I try to have some mean tea at the top of the mountain. <laughs> Look at this place. Oh, and that's the village where I slept last night. It's pretty small as you can see. That guy over there is just trying to make some money. There is a people's people's people for the for the paraglide. Okay. Ah, it's good. How are you? Good. good. Okay, I'll try to find a place to park. What's your name? Bernard. Bernard. Ah, you? Abdul. Abdul. Ah, yeah. Okay. Nice to meet you, Abdul. Nice to meet you, bro. Bye bye. Abdul is not giving up on making some money off of me. Just to be clear, I found this place by myself and I was going on my own, but now he's going in front of me, so I'll have to give some money. <laughs> what can I do? You can take this. No? This is spectacular. Okay. This is pleasant. Well, thank you. Bye bye. Well, Abdul was just being kind, and I thought he wanted money. <laughs> Lesson learned. Honestly, van life might be my favorite way of traveling. Just because it's so comfortable and you're completely self-sufficient. I feel like you have backpacking down here because it's so uncomfortable and you don't have your own means of transportation, so it's always difficult to move around. Then you have bikepacking, which is slightly more comfortable and you have your own means of transportation, so you can go wherever you want in theory. And then you have van life, which I feel like it's on a different level uh, because it's so comfortable and you can go wherever you want and camp in places like this with the mountains back there. Um, then of course you have hotels, but I feel like hotels are a different category because you're not really self-sufficient. And hotels are kind of boring. <laughs> so van life is probably the best way of traveling if you want comfort and fun at the same time <laughs> also I'm super happy with the van layout uh, I had so many doubts while I was building it uh, because it's so difficult to make decisions if you're not using it but now that I'm actually living inside of it I feel like I made the right decisions uh, for example uh, I was really on the fence about building the shower unit just because it takes up so much space uh, and my van is not that big. Uh, but now that I'm living inside of it, it makes so much sense because if I didn't have a shower, I would need to go to a campsite or somewhere to take a shower. And that's not practical and it's not self-sufficient. Um, so that was the right choice. Also, uh, the countertop, uh, when I built it, I felt like it was way too big and it was taking up so much space. And now I'm so thankful because it's so good to cook with a proper countertop. I feel like most people when they build vents, they always build those really small countertops uh, to save space. But that's just not practical if you want to cook 
meals, like proper meals. Um, so yeah, super happy. Also the folding bed is amazing. It's so easy to put it up and down in the morning. Um, so I feel like the layout is almost perfect. Yeah. And I'm just loving this life. This is the best thing. Oh. Look at that view. I mean. A few days later, I made it to the city. Good morning. Today, I'm in Marrakesh. There's the Kutubia. And my main goal is to find some really nice food. Uh, and I also want to find a place to get a trim, because this is getting out of control. <laughs> I kind of forgot how touristy Marrakesh is. There's so many tourists. Okay, I think I found a barber shop. Just need to trim it a little bit because it's good. <laughs> good morning. Good morning. <laughs> Very bad. <laughs> I have no idea what he's saying. <laughs> mustache? You like that mustache? Mustache. Yeah. <laughs> now you can cut it. Yeah, yeah. Good? Oh, très bon. Ah, très bien. It's uh, younger. Are you good? <laughs> okay. Much better. <laughs> I love going to local barber shops. It's always so unique. Okay, now let's find something to eat. Uh, one uh, sandwich vegetarian. Vegetarian. Okay. Yeah. I've missed street food so much. Mm. So good. C'est très bon. Can I have more tea? Yes. That was so tasty. I just hope I don't get food poisoned. <laughs> okay, that's it for this week's video. Uh, I'm still trying to find a balance between filming and like actually enjoying the trip. So now I think I'm gonna put the camera down um, and I'll explore the Medina a little bit. I really wanna buy a rug to make the van a bit more cozy. Um, so yeah, I think I'll see you next week with a new video. Look, this is the parking lot I'm staying in. There's so many vans here. <laughs> uh, yeah, bye bye.